Hey there, future nurse. Now, I know I'm getting ahead of myself here, but I bet you'll like this video. And if you do, be sure to head to simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube for way more content than you can get here. And you can sign up for free. Hey there, nursing students. In the field of healthcare, effective communication is paramount. And mastering medical terminology is a crucial step towards achieving that goal. Today, we'll embark on a comprehensive journey through an intricate world of medical terms equipping you with the knowledge and skill to decipher and comprehend this complex language with ease. Now let's review the importance of medical terminology for nursing students. As future healthcare professionals, you'll encounter a vast array of medical terms on a daily basis. Whether you're reading medical reports, communicating with colleagues, or providing patient education, a solid grasp of medical terminology will enable you to convey information accurately and efficiently. Furthermore, this knowledge will enhance your understanding of diagnoses, procedures, and treatment plans, ultimately allowing you to deliver better patient care. So let's get into word roots. At the core of medical terminology lie word roots. These form the foundation of many medical terms. These roots, often derived from Greek or Latin, provide clues to the meanings of the term. For example, the root cardi or cardio, or even cardi B, oh, crrr, no, I'm just kidding. But cardio relates to the heart, while neuro pertains to the nervous system. So by mastering these roots, you'll be able to decipher unfamiliar terms a lot more easily. So here are some examples of word roots in action. Cardiology is simply the study of the heart. Neurology is the study of the nervous system. And gastroenterology is the study of the digestive system. Now let's briefly discuss the prefixes and the suffixes. So prefixes and suffixes are simply word parts that modify or supplement the meaning of the root word. Prefixes are added at the beginning of a word, while suffixes are added at the end. For instance, the prefix hyper simply means excessive or increased, while suffix itis indicates inflammation. Some examples of prefix and suffixes in action. Hypertension is simply high blood pressure. Appendicitis is inflammation of the appendix. And tachycardia simply means increased heart rate. In medical terminology, there are also combining forms, which are word roots that can stand alone or be combined with prefixes, suffixes, or other roots to create new terms. These forms often provide information about specific body parts, conditions, or even procedures. So here are some examples. Gastro means stomach. Cyto means a cell and arthro means the joint. Now moving on to constructing medical terms. Now that you understand the building blocks of medical terminology, let's explore how to construct terms by combining various word parts. This process involves following a specific order, which is a prefix plus the root word plus the suffix. For example, hypokalemia. The prefix hypo simply means low or meaning a deficiency. The root hal means potassium, and the suffix emia means a condition inside the blood. So putting it all together, hypokalemia refers to low potassium inside the blood. Mastering medical terminology requires consistent practice and exposure. For more quick medical terminology lessons at simplenursing.com forward slash YouTube to reinforce your understanding. Additionally, seek opportunities to engage with medical professionals and immerse yourself in the language of healthcare. Remember, becoming proficient in medical terminology is not an overnight process, but with dedication and persistence, you'll soon find yourself navigating this language with confidence as well as with ease. In conclusion, medical terminology is a fundamental aspect of nursing education and practice. By understanding word roots, prefixes, suffixes, and combining forms, you'll be equipped to comprehend and communicate effectively in the healthcare setting. So embrace this journey of learning medical terminology as it will not only enhance your professional skills, but will also contribute to providing exceptional patient care. Keep practicing, stay curious, and never stop expanding your knowledge in this fascinating field. And remember, don't be scared, be prepared. Thanks for watching and please be sure to head to the link in the description below for way more helpful content. See you guys there.